Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Classic CC lets you adjust the white balance of a photo to mimic the lighting conditions under which the photo was taken. You can select a white balance preset option or you can specify a neutral color from within the photo. To access the white balance features, expand the basic panel within the develop module. The white balance options appear near the top of the panel above the tone sliders. To apply a white balance preset, choose from the options in the WB drop-down menu. Depending on the photo you're working on, the WB drop-down menu contains different options. Full white balance preset options are only available for RAW photos and DNG photos. However, you can adjust the white balance of any photo using the sliders below the WB menu. Presets will have different effects depending on the photo to which you apply them. The As Shot preset uses the camera's white balance settings if they are available. The Auto preset calculates the white balance for a photo based on image data. When you apply a WB preset, Lightroom Classic CC adjusts the white balance setting for the selected photo. You'll notice that the temp and tint sliders move according to the preset you apply. You can also fine tune the white balance by adjusting the sliders further. You can also use the eyedropper shaped white balance selector tool to specify a neutral area in the photo. To do this, click to select the tool from the basic panel. The mouse pointer then changes into an eyedropper tool and the toolbar displays additional options. When selected, the auto dismiss checkbox option in the toolbar dismisses the white balance selector tool after you click once in the photo. When you select this option, the default hand tool or zoom tool is automatically selected after each click of the white balance selector tool. Uncheck this option if you want to be able to click multiple areas of a photo with the eyedropper tool. The Show Loop checkbox option displays a close-up view and the RGB values of a sampling of pixels under the white balance selector. The Scale slider zooms the close-up view in the loop. At the far right end of the toolbar, the Done button dismisses the white balance selector tool and restores the default hand or zoom tool. To use the tool, hover the tool over an area of the photo that should be a neutral light gray. Avoid areas of highlighting and areas of pure white. As you move the white balance selector over the different pixels in the photo, the navigator panel shows a preview of the color balance. When you find a color that should be a light neutral gray, click to select the color. Lightroom Classic CC then adjusts the white balance in relation to your choice. The temp and tint sliders in the basic panel adjust to make your selected color as neutral as possible. You can fine-tune the white balance of a photo by using the temp and tint sliders. The temp slider fine-tunes the white balance by using the Kelvin temperature scale. If you move the slider to the left, the photo has a cooler appearance. If you move the temp slider to the right, photo colors become warmer. The tint slider fine-tunes the white balance to compensate for any green or magenta tint within the photo. If you move it to the left, green is added to the photo. If you move the tint slider to the right, magenta is added. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.